You can use a browser inspect tool in Internet Explorer, though I don't recommend it. Um, starting in IE7 and going up to IE9, this is Internet Explorer 9, you can uh, do a F12 to get the browser inspect tool. So you can't right click and find the inspect element um, menu, but what you do is hit F12 um, and you'll see um, this is actually very helpful for testing an Internet Explorer. So I don't suggest that you develop an Internet Explorer using this um, inspect tool, but you do need to test. And so I suggest you get the newest version of Internet Explorer 10 when it comes out, and then you can use this to switch your mode. So you can test to see if it looks the same in Internet Explorer 8 or Internet Explorer 7. Go ahead and um, change the uh, the different versions here and it'll give you a very accurate picture of what it would render like in Internet Explorer 8, what it would render like in Internet, Internet Explorer 7. Um, but in terms of the DOM crawling, um, you can click on these and it'll kind of show you um, the CSS on the right and then if you want to see how it um, looks in the page, you can click this arrow and then if you click on a different element, it'll drill down and, and find it. Um, however, you can't really um, edit this in the same way that you can in other DOM inspectors. You kind of have to add new elements here and it's got a lot of quirks that, that are going to mess you up. So um, you should definitely kind of become slightly familiar with this because you will need to test in Internet Explorer um, but for the most part um, you're just going to use this to kind of like get track of what you're looking at. So all of these are very, very different from the standard inspect um, options in the other browsers. So really, um, this deserves its own separate video, just uh, going into the details of all of these. But um, for, for this lesson, I'm just going to say don't use Internet Explorer um, because it's, it's just going to make your life difficult.